I have a really fun book today. It's very special for a couple of reasons, and I'll tell you that in just a minute. This one is called Sit, Stay, Love. And if you can see, there's a mama dog here and her cute little puppies. The author of this book is Charlene Hilduff. What I really like about this book is these are things that puppies learn and they're very similar to all the things that we learn as children that are really important to learn. And I chose this especially today because our daughter Erin and her family have a brand new puppy and they just got her last Friday. She is a mini Labradoodle. She's a really pretty shade of brown and her name is Maggie Mae and she only weighs six pounds so she's just really really little. I think of Riley as little but she makes Riley look like a giant. She's so cute. So I'm going to show you a picture of Maggie Mae and then we're going to read our story. Isn't she cute? She's so funny and she's very, very bright. And she's, she's really bright and she knows she's loved because even though Erin's family has only had her Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, four days, she has already learned to sit and to lay down and to stay and to roll over and shake hands. So she just wants to please, but she'll do anything for a Cheerio. So I think they're bribing her right now. But the things that she is learning are very special things and they're things that, that all of us have learned um, along the way. So let's see how this goes. It starts out with a poem and then it gets to the story. May we not just learn life's most important lessons, but live them every day. Pay more attention to our people, take time to rest, find joy in the little things. May you sit longer with those who make you happy, stay a while in the places that bring you joy, and love greater than yesterday, for the days go by fast. So that's what a little puppy is learning. That's advice for a puppy. But doesn't that fit us too? Think about that. I think it does. Pay attention to our people. Pay attention to mom and dad and brothers and sisters and grandparents and aunts and uncles and Sunday school teachers and neighbors and friends. Pay attention to them. And, um, and then take time to rest. You know, we get tired during the day. And that's why God created night so we could go to bed and sleep and, um, and our bodies can recover. And then we can wake up and be ready for whatever the next day brings. Sit with those who make you happy. Sometimes it's just nice to snuggle up next to mom and dad or anybody in our family. Just snuggle up and be close. That feels pretty good. Stay a while in the places that bring you joy. I know Riley likes to lay on the floor in the sunbeam that comes in the window. And that's a place that brings him joy. And then when he gets too warm, he just scooches over out of the sun so he's a little cooler. That brings him joy. And I think that Riley knows we love him more today than we did yesterday. And I think that's what Maggie Mae will find out too, that her family really, really loves her. So let's read this story. Sit, stay, love. Life lessons from a doggy. There is so much to learn as you grow up. Sometimes the best lessons come from a pup. Here's mama dog again and all of her sweet babies. I think it's fun that they're all different colors. They're all brothers and sisters, but they're different colors. 
There's a black one and two brown ones and a little blonde one that looks more like mom. As you get big and strong and wise, remember that courage doesn't come from your size. So what they're doing over here is measuring how big the puppy is getting. Do you have a place in your house where somebody in your family has been marking how tall you are? So you started out little and there's a mark on the wall or on the door. At, at my house growing up, it was a place on the door. And then my daddy would write the date. And then when we did it again, I'd grown a little bit more. So then there's another line and the date. And my big brothers, this, I remember when my big brother reached six foot tall, and that's a whole lot taller than me. When he reached six foot tall, my mom said, let's celebrate. I will bake a chocolate cake because that was my big brother's favorite. So you can always find something to celebrate and um, to have fun as a family. So that's what they're doing. They're, they're marking this doggy's um, height. Do the right thing even when it's hard. Boy, that is a hard one, isn't it? It looks like here that this little puppy was going to reach up and grab some food that did not belong to him. And this sweet little good puppy is going to pull him back down and shake her head and say, no, 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 that's not what you should be doing. This is a good one. Don't go with strangers and stay close to your yard. Well, don't go with strangers. Boy, that's something that mom and dad have probably been telling you since you were little tiny. Stay in your own yard. Mom and dad want to trust that you are minding them and you are staying in your own yard so you are always safe. Obey authority and give respect when it's due. That's kind of a hard one too, but in this case, authority is the person who takes care of you, the person who is teaching you and um, helping you to be good. So you pay attention and you obey that person and you give them respect. This happens to be an older person like me. They deserve respect. Respect. You, you treat them kindly. Kindly. Always remember, this is an important one, always remember that God's watching you. Always. Wherever you are. And he watches the puppies and he watches the big dogs and all the animals and he watches you. Do your chores and pick up your mess. This sweet little puppy is picking up all his toys at the end of the day and putting them in the basket. I will tell you, this is one lesson that Riley has never learned. We can pick up the toys and he has two baskets. All the balls go in one basket and all the soft toys go in another. We can pick them all up and put them away and we turn around and he's gotten them all out again. And he never learned to put them away. So I hope you do better. I hope when mom or dad or grandma and grandpa or somebody in your family says, it's time to pick up your toys. I hope you can do it and clean up your mess. Sometimes when we're playing Play-Doh or um, coloring, we can make a real mess on the table. But how nice for mom and dad or grandma and grandpa to see that you've put your colors back in the box and you've put the papers away and you've picked up all those little tiny pieces of Play-Doh that get stuck on the table and you put all the colors in the right boxes. That's important. Here's another good one. Give what you can to those who have less. This is really easy to do. Give what you can. So here's his sweet puppy, and he's carrying a little bone, a little dog bone in his mouth. And he sees somebody who doesn't have very much, who's probably quite hungry, and maybe doesn't have a home. 
and he's going right up and he's going to give that bone to that little dog that doesn't have very much. We do that at our church, don't we? We have a snack bag ministry. And every Monday and Tuesday, we have some very, very wonderful special people in our church that <clears throat> give out snack bags with food in it and a bottle of water and socks and hats and mittens, gloves to um, those who don't have a home of their own. And they come to the church door every Monday and Tuesday. And we are so excited to be able to help them and to give them the things that they need, and especially food. If your tummy's grumbling, you're not going to be very happy. So it's always good to give them food. Share your toys and take time to play. So here they are. It looks like they're playing tug-of-war here. And that's kind of, that's a fun game. But sharing your toys, we need to learn that. We need to, you'll learn that as a little child, and then you... You practice that your whole entire life. We share everything that we have. That will make you a happy person. And be sure and get rest after a long day. So here's this sweet puppy, and he has crawled in bed with this little girl that he lives with. And he's going to get rest. And that's so important. So. <clears throat> if it wasn't important, maybe God would not have created night. He would just let us play all day long. Whenever you can, give lots of snuggles. And do you see what these two are? One is the puppy. And what's the other one? Is it a giraffe? Is it a bear? What is it? It's a cat. Dogs and cats don't always get along, but sometimes they really get along. So these two are snuggling. They're friends. But give your very best hugs to the humans. Humans, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, friends, aunts and uncles, big brothers and sisters. So give this is the puppy giving the best snuggles and the best hugs to the people that he lives with everybody happy, doesn't it? <clears throat> I like to know that Riley is happy with me and, uh, and with Papa Steve and that he gives us kisses and he gives us snuggles. And then I love to snuggle him too. Love with all you can and with all your might. Here's another picture of snuggling with that sweet puppy. That probably feels good, don't you think? Of course, then maybe he gets down and runs around and wants to play ball. But for right now, he's snuggling. Be kind to others and do not fight. Oh, boy. That's a hard one. Especially brothers and sisters just seem to fight sometimes, don't they? So let's say be kind as often as you can and don't fight quite as much. I had two big brothers. We fought. I didn't have a sister. I think if I'd had a sister, I would have loved her. Be a great listener and always do good. Here's a puppy listening to her, to her Rita's story. Isn't that what we do? And I thank you for being good listeners. And I'm sure when somebody in your family reads you a story, you are listening too. Guide your feet where they should go. And on this sign, it says there's a bad way and there's a good way. So we've talked about this before, about making good choices, being smart, making good choices. So guide your feet in the right way. Guide your feet the way that Jesus would have you go so that you're always safe and you're always kind and you don't get into trouble and you can have a really, really happy life. 
Follow your heart where it leads you to. Follow your heart. So if something feels good and you know that I'm going to go this direction because there are some little children over here that I really want to play with. And I know that they are going to be really sweet friends. Follow your heart. Go. Here's one. Say your prayers every night. Look at these sweet puppies. And they have their paws up like this. And they're praying. We need to pray every night, don't we? But it doesn't just have to be at night. Oh my goodness, no. You can pray anytime you want. You can pray in the morning. You can pray before breakfast and before lunch and before dinner. You can pray anytime you need to talk to God. <clears throat> when it is dark, be the light. When it's dark, be the light. We just had a book about that, didn't we? This one, there's one puppy holding the flashlight so the other one can see. Be the light. Just another way to be helpful. Be a blessing and help others out. Just by being kind. This sweet puppy is giving lots of snuggles to this little girl who maybe isn't very happy right now. That's what life is all about. Look at this mama again and look at all her puppies. My goodness, she has a busy life raising those puppies and teaching them to be safe, teaching them to be kind, teaching them to mind, to mind, teaching them to stay in their own yard, teaching them not to go with strangers, teaching them to help whatever they need to do, teach them to pick up their toys. That's what life is all about, all those special things. I love this one because it doesn't happen at our house. Here's the sweet puppy picking up his toys. I wish Riley would do that. And maybe when he had been an itty bitty puppy, maybe he would have learned earlier to pick up his toys. Maybe not though, I don't know. So then I turned over to the back and I said, we train dogs, but they teach us. Who matters most? What loyalty means? where to be, and when to forgive, why to smile, and how to love. Dogs make us laugh and bring us joy, and they fill our hearts and complete our families. We get to have them while they give us so much, and we're the luckiest to call them ours. They are ours. We love Riley, and I know that daughter Erin's family loves their little Maggie, and they're so excited to have her in their family right now. I was going to tell you another thing that I just learned. I have two friends, Sue and Robin, and they are mother and daughter, and they are getting two, not just one, they're getting two new puppies. And these puppies are very, very special because they are going to be trained as service dogs. So they are going to help Sue and Robin with whatever, whatever challenges they have in their lives. And these little puppies are going to be trained. It's, um, they're very, very smart. It's not easy to train them. It takes a long time. And they have special people who can do that for them. But they're going to be wonderful dogs in their family, and I am so excited. I think they are going to come to Sue and Robin's house in about two weeks for the first time. So I'm really excited to go and visit and see these sweet little puppies, especially after spending time with little Maggie yesterday. So service animals are very, very special. They really 
provide something wonderful for us, things that we cannot do ourselves. The other thing I wanted to tell you is remind you once again that Vacation Bible School is coming. Um, it's very close now. It's July 17th, and that's a Saturday from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. But it isn't just for you. It's for your whole family. Very different this year. Very, very different. And it's down at the waterfront park, um, down by the, uh, by the carousel and the Gilbert House in that area. It's going to be really, really fun and lots of people involved and games and food and stories and lessons and just a lot of neat stuff going on that day. So um, Mrs. Betty has really put together a wonderful vacation Bible school for us this year. So I'm really excited to be a part of that too. All right, um, let's pray. I'm just going to hug this book because I just love this book. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. Thank you for all the little ones and the big ones that... Um, that listen to the story time every Tuesday. It's such a joy, and I'm thankful that you have um, made it possible for me to be the one to read these stories. We have so many people in our church who read wonderful stories, and I will call on some other people who will bring their special selves to into the story, and we will we'll have some different people do it. But it's um, I just love it, and I thank you for arranging this time for me. Um, I ask that you watch over our puppies and our little children and help us learn the lessons that these puppies need to learn too. We can do it. We can be kind and we can be helpful and we can be sweet and we can be lovable. That's what it's all about. We thank you for loving us first. And because you loved us, we have that love in our hearts and we can turn around and give it to something else. We can give it to a puppy. We can give it to another pet. And we can give it to each other and those in our family. I ask that you keep watch over us, keep everybody safe and happy, and bring us back next week for story time. In the name of your dear son, Jesus. Amen. Okay, that's it for this week. I have lots of new books, and I haven't decided. I have a whole stack like this. So um, I will read through those this next week, and I will decide what would be a really, really fun one to do. Um, be sure and tell Mom and Dad about Vacation Bible School, because um, you want to be a part of that. I know you want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that. So we'll see you. Um, we'll see you next week. And thank you for being here today. All right. I love you all. Bye-bye.